Hi all, and welcome back to the ACT Talk with me, Joe. We keep getting many questions about the ACT, so let's see what we have today. Can you share an ACT math tip? Why give you one tip when I can give you my top 10 must-know ACT math tips to help you raise your score in ACT test day? Let's do this. Tip number one, approach every ACT math question with the same method. Read the question, look at the information provided in the question and the answer choices, solve, either using back solving, picking numbers, traditional math, or strategically guessing, and check to make sure that you answer the specific question that was asked. Tip number two, pick numbers to avoid complicated algebra on the ACT. Avoid picking zero or one because they have special properties. Tip number three, back solve to save time on the ACT. You can back solve when you see integers in the answer choices. Start with answer choice C or H unless the question asks for the smallest or largest value. Tip number four, translate words into math. Translate the words in the question into math so that you can solve it more easily. Remember that the word of means to multiply. Tip number five, no number properties. Recognizing number properties will save you time on test day. Number property rules include odds and evens, prime numbers, and the order of operations. You can pick numbers to help you remember the rules. Tip number six, understand ACT math relationships. Know the difference between values, ratios, and percents. A ratio is a relationship between numbers. The ACT test maker's value being able to move easily between percents, fractions, and decimals. Tip number seven, know your triangles. You must know the 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90 rules. The ACT does not provide this information at the beginning of the math section like the SAT does, so be sure to memorize this information way ahead of time. Also, look for Pythagorean triplets, 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, and their multiples. Tip number eight, find common shapes. Find common shapes on the ACT to help you break complex figures into simple polygons. Look in particular for triangles. When the ACT does not mention note figure not drawn to scale, you can actually use the figure that's printed to your advantage. Tip number nine, recognize red flags. Be on the lookout for common trap answers on the ACT. This includes oddball answers and answers that are too small or too big. They're going to be wrong. Tip number 10, make sure your calculator is allowed on test day. The worst thing you can do is bring a calculator that is prohibited. Check the official ACT website to make sure the calculator you plan to use on the ACT math section is allowed. If you're still with me, that means you are very serious about doing well on the ACT, and I love that. If you're ready for a deep dive into the ACT, my next tip for you is subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and check out www.captest.com ACT to take a look at our ACT course options with me or any one of our expert instructors so we can ensure that you're ready for test day.